Hey y'all, welcome to this video. So, today we're gonna do another get ready, or wait, yeah, get ready with me. Um, I do the same makeup all the time. <laughs> But I wanted to do some more makeup videos because my my make my last makeup video, my go-to makeup routine, did really well. I didn't know y'all cared about makeup videos for me, so I was like, can just neglect the makeup. And honestly, I wear makeup every week, so I don't see why not. So I have um, like one new product to use that I wanted to use. Um, so and I need to put on makeup to film another video. So. It makes sense. I'm making it make sense. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get ready. I just did my hair. I filmed a hair vlog for this hairstyle, um, and it should, it might be up already. Um, so if it is, it'll be up here. I don't have any nails on yet. I just realized that. But honestly, I've been feeling it. I've been feeling this just being like normal. I've been feeling it. But, um, I just washed my face and brushed my teeth and did my hair, um, cleaned my beauty blender, and I got some new contacts. My mom ordered me some new contacts. Thanks, mom. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on. So I wore contacts. I think I'm pretty blind. I use AccuView Oasis contacts um, with HydroClear Plus with four astigmatism. And they're UV blocking. <laughs> I get the um, two week ones and um, I won't say how long they last me. So in both at the, at the moment, both my eyes are the same. So I just take two from the same package. Mm -hmm. I just washed my hands, so they're clean. I always take a little break and I just think it's time. Um, I got sent some a product by Miss or M Rose, Mr. Rose, M Rose. It's the Glow Protector Sunscreen. Now look, I'm one of those people who don't believe in sunscreen. I know, shoot me, but I really don't. Um, I just remember like when I was little, we used to go to the pool all the time, and uh, we used to use sunscreen. And then all of a sudden, my dad was like, "You don't need sunscreen." Um, ooh, my eyes. I'm not saying like sunscreen is unnecessary, but And honestly though, when you do put the sunscreen on, like then what? Like, you don't know if it did anything, huh? I read the ingredients, um, and I'm just talking about sunscreen in general. I have no, no idea about this product. I think it's pretty cool though, but I looked at the, it's SPF 35, and um, the, it doesn't smell like anything. I looked in the ingredients and it and it's water and then aloe leaf and then the rest is a lot of other things that I don't know what they are. But it doesn't smell like anything, so I'm gonna try it. Um it says that it doesn't do like any white casts, which is apparently a problem with sunscreen on dark skin, and it says that this is Glow protector, protect your glow daily with your new sunscreen SPF 35 formulated specifically for darker skin tones. Our glow protector dress completely clear and is infused with aloe vera extract so you can stay protected while you glow up. So It's offering like kind of a moisture type thing. So I'm just gonna have to do my research on sunscreen. If any of y'all know anything about sunscreen, feel free to school me on it. Um, so far it feels pretty fun. I don't even go outside, you know. The most sun I get is right here from my window on it. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. So, it does kind of feel nice on my hand where I've applied it. So, 
I don't know how to know if it's like good, but it, it feels nice. So yeah, that's the M Rose Glow Protector Sunscreen SPF 35. So that was next. Now I'm gonna go in, should I have done the moisturizer first? I always apply this moisturizer at some point in my makeup. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I've been using this for a while now and I love it. I'm gonna put this on top. So I'm gonna let those two products sit in while I, there we go do my eyebrows so if you watch that makeup video i did my eyebrow no no no, not that video if you watch the vibe with me video i did my eyebrows with edge control and i've been doing it ever since i really like it the only thing is y'all know this edge control turns white and most of the time it doesn't turn white on my hair but it doesn't turn white but um it kind of makes my eyebrows look a little gray so maybe i have to use a different edge control um, but I really like this edge control, so I need to get one of those little, little ones so I can put it in my makeup case. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyebrows real quick. Um, what kind of makeup look should I do? Should I do, hmm, should I do like easy, easy breezy? Oh, can y'all see the track? Okay, so I just did my eyebrows. Um, I filled them in a little bit with the AOA Studio Sculpting Brow Pencil and then cleaned them up with my concealer, the Too Faced Multi Sculpting Concealer. Um, so yeah, I just feel so cute with my nails. I just keep thinking about that. But next, um, I don't think I'm going to do any foundation. My skin has been looking not too bad, so I'm just gonna take this Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer by NYX in the color Cappuccino number 17. And um, I'm going to just kind of spot conceal. This concealer is not, it's a little brightening, so it's good for like maybe a, maybe dark spots, but it's not my exact skin tone, so can y'all see? It's like, it's like a little bit warmer. My skin tone. I actually have never found a foundation because I don't look, but I haven't used a foundation that's my exact skin tone. Like usually they're like slightly orange, but they're not like brown. I'm not sure what in correlation to like a color scale, <laughs> a color um, chart. what my skin tone would be because like have you ever seen for instance um i can use instagram let's say you are like changing the color of your letters so you're making an instagram story and you're changing the color of your letter of the text to match your yellow top so you're clicking like yellow and if you didn't know you can you can like um there's like a color gradient picker on instagram stories so you can choose like yellow right but it's not matching your top so when you use the color picker and you see what and it like picks the color on that you can see like like that that yellow that you thought was like a bright yellow is actually like brown <laughs> in correlation to like all the other colors it looks more yellow but in actuality it's kind of like more brown i don't know if that makes sense but and i don't know why i said that but <laughs> Um, I've just been noticing that like some colors are only that color because it's next to other colors that um, are s contrasting to it, but it's really not as bright in comparison to maybe the complete rainbow, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go on with this concealer again, the Too Faced one, and this is in Maple and just highlight a little bit and sometimes i let this sit but i think today i'm going for kind of like a lighter glowier look so i'm just gonna blend it out right now delete my number baby that song is in my head it's like delete my number 
baby I think by Toby Lou to my head which by the way he's coming to Dallas and I think I'll be going to his concert um <clears throat> I saw him in Dallas last year in November with um he opened for Kyle and so now he has his own tour in less than a year back in Dallas so I think it's like so cool it was only like November and then his is in October so it's like right under a year but that's really cool he is um he has his own tour so our concealer is blended I'm gonna go in with a little cream contour this is the flesh stick in mocha I forgot to put primer And I'm, I have a new Smashbox powder to use, and I forgot to apply the primer. I think I got a tan. I went for a hike the other day. I haven't been outside that much this summer. And I look tan, and I wanted a tan all summer, but I guess I was just being lazy and never went outside. I also never went swimming this summer. That's the kind of stuff, like that's just not cool. Like, I really didn't go swimming. Didn't go outside. I need to learn how to be a little bit more eventful <laughs> the next summer. Like, having me like an actual fun summer. Gotta have one of those next. I mean, the summer's not over. I still have a little bit of time, but if we're being honest, that's not, I'm just. <laughs> so before this concealer starts messing up, Smashbox sent me some more things and they sent this time the photo finish setting powder um, and this is um, and set mattify and blur and they have two shades they sent me it says one is transition for light to medium skin tones and the other is a brightening banana tint for medium to dark skin tones so I'll be using that one and it's vegan, cruelty free, no parabens and talc, which is pretty cool. And yeah, the the pot blah, blah blah blah. The packaging though is really cool because it's like a little camera lens, and I love um, camera things are my favorite. So like, I have a camera mug behind me, and I just think that's so cool. Like it has. The number is like 18 to 35 millimeter zoom lens and then its name and then when you open it I already tried it my batteries just keep on dying and it's just like so cool and so then to get the powder out you have to twist it like a lens I think that's so cute and um, yeah so I'm gonna be using shade number two and the only under eye setting powder I use is Maybelline Fit Me Loose finishing powder in the shade medium deep. It's like an amazing shade for me. And the powder, I've been standing by that powder like it lasts. It's nearly, it makes this concealer even better on my skin. So <laughs> this powder, I'm just trying it, but like it literally has competition. Like, um, like that setting powder has always made my under eye last like forever so in combination with this concealer that I use and then that the primer that I didn't get to use today um, that combo is like amazing for mattifying blur so we're gonna see how this does the shade looks really nice it looks really similar to this so you just like twist it which is really cool that's really cool you twist it to get the powder. That's so cool because sometimes I be like, like this, trying to get this one out. But let me show you the color. This is my favorite powder at the moment and this is the Smashbox. So this color is more neutral. This one is more banana-y, but they're in the same like deepness. So, I think I think it'll work. <coughs> so I'm just gonna use it how I mean I'm gonna apply it how I always do with my beauty blender. 
pop some in. Oh. And tap some off. Like, wow. Thanks, Smashbox. That's so cool. And they, they decided to put me on their PR list for these products. And the color is great. It's even more yellower -y than this, which is really cool. So that's how I use my under eye powder. So we'll, we'll see how it holds up during the day, which I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, now, I don't know how much this is. Um, I'll look it up and put it on the screen, but this is $5. So when this runs out, well, I don't know, maybe I will splurge on this. We'll see how it, it holds up. That's nice. I like it. I like it. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my, Maybe, uh, my Maybelline, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Okay, y'all, so I just looked at the time and it is four o'clock. <laughs> Why do I make like these long lists and I always think I can get like 20 things, 10 things done in a day? Now that school started, all of a sudden, I don't know how to think anymore. I don't know what it is, but I, I don't do well in a school setting. I just don't. I don't. I keep trying. I keep trying. And... I don't know how to I don't know how to work in it and it's it does not think it's like my brain completely malfunctions and just spazzes every single time and I don't know why it's really frustrating honestly because it's really frustrating it's it's frustrating because I don't I'm not even trying to psych myself out <clears throat> I don't know what it is it's like I'm being like for real for real like on a serious note I don't know why my brain I don't know why it is like that even with I don't even have a large class load I have one class a day um, I'm only taking like two classes right now and then another one starts halfway through this semester but I still get that overwhelmed um, just like cloud of stress even when there's not anything directly stressing me out but it's just the fact that like school I think it's probably probably because school has stressed me out in the past so I'm kind of have like PTSD because going into the semester I was literally like kind of scared I was literally like scared like to the point of like crying because <laughs> I was so scared that I I would you know fall back into what had happened in the past and um and then in high school, just not ever wanting to go and it just being like such a, just like blah. I think I just kind of have like a traumatic thing over school and it's, I'm being serious y'all. So I kind of have like PTSD in a way. So any, so now that I'm in it, it's like I can't, it's like a, what's the word? That's the only way my brain knows how to function in a school setting no matter now no matter if the school load is easy or hard it's automatically stressed out so it's basically like i would have to retrain myself which is hard because i've been going to school for 15 years <laughs> that's that um i'm gonna put my lashes on first i don't know what kind of like look look i want to do yet but i think i'll know once i put these lashes on so i just got some new lashes from the beauty supply <clears throat> and it, it was in this cute packaging like this and this is the sexy cat cat eye 3d lash and um this one is called virgo i put on some ones yesterday and they were aquarius i got a little aquarius that's my moon sign so i thought that was cute yeah this is like really cute packaging and stuff i was just saying in like my vlog that um the packaging on lashes is really excessive i'm not sure how else you could package it but all this plastic sometimes i throw it away in my room and then i throw my room trash in the trash can so i need to start remembering to send it to the side so i can recycle it because look i don't want it to be people blaming me that i you know killed the earth 
but I truly do try to find ways to like reuse things because like I don't want it to go to waste like for instance this packaging face powder like what am I supposed to do now with it you know but I have this star um, tattoo stamp from milk makeup in the star and I'm thinking I want to apply it to my eye should we or should we not While we're here, does anyone know where I can get a bucket hat from? <laughs> I've been looking for forever, but my head's too big um, for normal hats. And I just want to be able to rock a bucket hat this winter. I wanted one for the summer, it didn't happen, but I just want one for the fall so I can be serving looks. Um, but I need it to be big. Like, not to fit over this, but like over this okay so i'm gonna take this gel eyeliner and do a little something something i'll keep the, the i'll keep the camera rolling you, you gonna say what? i was gonna call you just to call you So, I, if y'all saw, if I included it, I um, started talking to my mom. Um, I did do my eyeliner. I'm really liking this side. I did the black gel liner and then I used the white liner, the white eyeliner from NYX. And then I did the stars on this side. So I ended up adding two more and some little dots. And then I added this um, high, loose highlighter from AOA Studio from Shot Miss A in um moonbeam so i tried on a red lipstick i didn't like the lipstick look so i'm thinking i'm just gonna do a gloss um i used this milani lip gloss in natural luster that's it for today um or that's it for this video i hope y'all enjoyed and i will see y'all next time bye